Hi, I'm John, I'm the drummer in SuperDB and I've been tasked with answering a few questions as a bit of an introduction to myself. <laughs> yeah, enjoy! Uh, I think I've started playing music. There is actually photographic evidence of me, age four, with a pair of drumsticks um, playing the drums. So it's got to be age four, I'm going to say. Young, basically. It's hard to pick just one, but one big character in my life is my granddad, who turns 90 this year and is a drummer, still playing the drums. Uh, he was the guy who introduced me to the drum kit and at the time gave me loads of tapes of jazz, uh, big band jazz with Buddy Rich and, and that really got me interested in drumming and music in general. Drummer wise of the sort of the famous drummers, my drumming hero is probably always will be Steve Gadd. Um, just love the way he plays. He doesn't He's not a showman necessarily, he doesn't show off too much, but just everything he does, he plays with real conviction and just a smoothness that I don't think anyone else has really been able to emulate since. His groove is just absolutely spot on. I could listen to that all day, probably. I am a big fan of barbecuing, love uh, cooking with charcoal particularly. Gas is okay, but it's got to be charcoal really. For anyone who's interested, I have my own barbecuing YouTube channel, which is called John Grills. My name is John Wills, so it was an obvious choice really. And uh, yeah, if you like barbecuing, check it out, subscribe, all the rest of it. I think you'll like it. Are there any good ones? I think actually my favourite one to play has not yet been released but we have opened the set with it a few times. It's called Downtown City Girl and it's just a really good opener and um, it will be a single I think at some point soon. I think you're going to love it and that is, yeah, that is my favourite one to play. Why? Because I, I love the intro. It's got a, a pad that starts off, builds up and then bang straight in with with the, uh, the synth and drums is big, huge. If I went back in time to play in any band, I think it would have to be Tower of Power. I actually got to see them once in Portsmouth and met uh, Mr. Garibaldi, who is another masterful drummer, really great groove and um, yeah, that's a band, I think they, they just have a lot of fun and they're very, very tight, the brass section uh, in particular. Uh, and it appeals, their style appeals to everything I like. Great groove, uh, energy, it's soulful. Um, yeah, it's great. David, you're watching this, you don't mind just stepping aside for a week or two. I'd love to do that. This <laughs> Where to start? I'm still getting to know Indigo, new bass player, very good bass player. Um, he strikes me as a bit of a class clown, though he is, well, first of all, he turns up in a boy in a suit. Yeah, I'm, I'm not choosing these words, by the way. These have been given to me. Uh, who is the lady killer? Well, that's obviously me, um, naturally. Uh, flower child. <laughs> well, the two the two cyclists could be flower child, or they could be troublemakers. They're both. I think they both combine elements of both both of those. Uh, they're definitely both troublemakers. Definitely um, a little bit, you know, flowery. I don't know. JP might have even tried literal flower in his hair. I'm not sure. Who knows? Woo!